How to ride a scooter. Riding a scooter is a great form of transportation. Scooters are generally much more efficient than cars and can get you to your destination much faster than walking. There are different kinds of scooters, like a kick scooter, a stand-up electric scooter, and a motor scooter. Each type of scooter is operated differently and has different rules and regulations. Be sure to check your scooter's manual for instructions for your specific scooter. Riding a kick scooter. Wear protective gear. Make sure to put on a bike helmet. Even though you may feel you don't need one, a helmet will keep you safe, especially when learning. It is also advisable to wear knee pads, elbow pads, and wrist guards to protect you if you fall. wh.performance.mark Step 1 underscore rendered. Start on a flat, paved road. Find a long stretch of a flat road, with as few cracks and ruts as possible. This ensures a smooth ride and is easier to learn on. It will require less effort to move yourself forward too. Use a proper stance. Place your weak leg on the middle of the scooter's deck. It should be facing straight ahead. Your knee should be bent. Lean forward slightly and grip the handlebars with both hands. Keep your other foot on the ground. Keep the front tube the front part of the scooter that supports the handlebars straight at all times while riding unless you're doing a trick that requires otherwise. That's the key to balancing on a scooter. Push off the ground with your strong leg. While your planted leg is securely in place on the deck and bent at the knee, use your strong leg to push off of the ground. This will propel you forward. As you kick, straighten your planted leg to generate more momentum, then bend it back for your next kick. To kick, use long, powerful strides as opposed to small, quick ones. Make contact with the ground on the ball of your foot and push back almost like you would while running. To glide, keep your kicking foot up, maybe a few inches off the ground, so that you can stabilize yourself in case you start to tip. Balance both feet on your scooter when you have enough momentum. Once you have your balance and have picked up speed, move your kicking foot onto the scooter, behind your other foot. Turn your feet at a 90 degree angle, similar to riding a skateboard. This will help you to travel at speed more aerodynamically. Brake smoothly when needed. To stop, hit your brake with your back kicking foot. Keep your foot there for a few seconds until you come to a complete stop. Press down on the brake gradually so that you don't stop too quickly. If you only tap the brake, you'll stop for a second and keep going. To use hand brakes, simply squeeze on the brakes gradually with your fingers. They will be on your handlebar. To control your speed, don't rely on brakes alone. Be sure you aren't kicking too quickly. You can also drag your kicking foot lightly on the ground to slow down. Make sure you are wearing solid shoes when doing this. Rotate the handlebar to turn. Take a curve by slowly rotating the handlebar in the direction you wish to turn. If you make a sudden swerve, you may fall. Exercise safety precautions. Ride at a safe speed. Be aware of pedestrians, especially in urban areas. Make sure you are always in control of your scooter and able to stop when needed. Don't go at top speed down a hill, you will likely lose control. When going downhill, keep one foot on the brake and press it lightly as you go down. This will keep you from going too fast or losing control. Always yield to cars, pull over to the side of the road when you hear a car behind you. Make sure to obey stop signs and other traffic laws. If you're going to crash into something, just jump off your scooter. To do this, jump and land so that the scooter's deck is between your feet. Then let go of the handlebars. It's a surefire way to not get hurt in a scooter crash. 